Book of Mormon, an account written by the hand of Mormon upon plates taken from the plates of Nephi. Wherefore, it is an abridgment of the record of the people of Nephi, and also of the Lamanites, written to the Lamanites, who are a remnant of the house of Israel, and also to Jew and Gentile, written by way of commandment, and also by the spirit of prophecy and of revelation, written and sealed up and hid up unto the Lord, that they might not be destroyed to come forth by the gift and power of God unto the interpretation thereof, sealed by the hand of Moroni and hid up unto the Lord, to come forth in due time by way of the Gentile, the interpretation thereof by the gift of God. Mm -hmm. An abridgment taken from the book of Ether also, which is a record of the people of Jared, who were scattered at the time the Lord confounded the language of the people, when they were building a tower to get to heaven which is to show unto the remnant of the house of Israel what great things the Lord hath done for their fathers, and that they may know the covenants of the Lord, that they are not cast off forever, and also to the convincing of the Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ, the eternal God, manifesting himself unto all nations. And now if there are faults there of mistakes of men, wherefore condemn not the things of God that ye may be found spotless at the judgment seat of Christ. You know, I posted it on our family that we were had received our mission call, mm -hmm. and nobody said anything, <laughs> not a word. That circle is getting pretty big around there, you know, when we first started, yeah, it was yeah. on top of the snow. Yeah, yeah but you moved, the, you moved the thing too, right? Yeah, I, I pulled it closer as it melted this way. Yeah, so that's a little widen the circle with some more. Well, not just for that, it brought it close to make me warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because you can feel it, put your hand out, you can feel a bit of it. Yeah, just a tiny bit. I can feel it here. Yeah, not enough, not much, but enough to take away the heat of the cold in here. Maybe this chair chair is a little bit better. Mm, I'm, I'm comfortable. I was so surprised that you didn't want to move the dates of our trip so we could be together the whole time. It wasn't my fault that they wanted to go to Chicago and needed a babysitter, or that it's March break and they would have to work and he doesn't. I feel like I'm being punished. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I wasn't my intention. I was just overwhelmed, I guess. Yeah, but it's still, it's more important to you to go by yourself to meet these 15 people than it is to go with me for an extra week. I'm very surprised. Perhaps you could stay a week longer. I mean, you, you come later and we can, oh, yeah. And then we can be together for two weeks, as planned. Okay, we can, we can try that, yeah. Thank you, Willem. I'm very overwhelmed trying to change it. Well, when task says, yeah, but, task can help us. Yeah, and, and then we'll, we'll know more when the details of, of your stay and, you know. 
Yeah, they don't know yet until they get the passport. Yeah. They need his passport number before they can book the flight. Right. Beautiful fire. Is that too much for your mom? Um, I don't think so. Anyway, so what, 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 before we change the flight, I'll call my mom and, and say what we're, what we're planning to do and if there's any problems, she'll let us know. Don't okay. You stayed for a month last time, didn't you? Mm, no, I don't think so. I never stayed more than... Usually about two weeks or so, maybe two and a half sometimes, between two and two and a half weeks. Translated by Joseph Smith, Jr., published by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. The Book of Mormon is a volume of Holy Scripture comparable to the Bible. It is a record of God's dealing with the ancient inhabitants of the Americans. 
and contains, as does the Bible, the fullness of the everlasting gospel. The book was written by many ancient prophets by the spirit of prophecy and revelation. Their words, written on gold plates, were quoted and abridged by a prophet historian named Mormon. The record gives an account of two great civilizations. One came from Jerusalem in 1600 and afterwards separated into two, two nations, known as the Nephites and the Lamanites. The other came much earlier when the Lord confounded the tongues at the Tower of Babel. This group is known as the Jaredites. After thousands of years, all were destroyed except the Lamanites, and they are the principal ancestors of the American Indians. The crowning event recorded in the Book of Mormon is the personal ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ among the Nephites soon after his resurrection. It puts forth the doctrines of the gospel, outlines the plan of salvation, and tells men what they must do to gain peace in this life and eternal salvation in the life to come. After Mormon completed his writings, he delivered the account to his son Moroni, who added a few words of his own and hit up the plates in the hill Cumorah. On September 21, 1823, the same Moroni, then a glorified resurrection being, appeared to the prophet Joseph Smith and instructed him relative to the ancient record and its destined translation into the English language. In due course, the plates were delivered to Joseph Smith, who translated them by the gift and power of God. The record is now published in many languages as a new and additional witness that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God, and that all who will may come unto him and obey the laws of the ordin and ordinances of his gospel and be saved. Concerning this record, the prophet Joseph Smith, I told the brethren that the Book of Mormon was the correct book of any book on earth, and the keystone of our religion, and a man would get nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than by any other book. In addition to Joseph Smith, the Lord provided for eleven others to see the gold plates for themselves and to be special witnesses of the truth and divinity of the Book of Mormon. Their written testimonies are included herewith as the testimony of three witnesses and the testimony of eight witnesses. We invite all men everywhere to read the Book of Mormon, to ponder in their hearts the message it contains, and then to ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if the book is true. Those who pursue this course and ask in faith will gain a testimony of its truth and divinity by the power of the Holy Ghost. Those who gain this divine witness from the Holy Ghost will also come to know by the same power that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, that Joseph Smith was, is his revelator and prophet in these last days, and that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the Lord's kingdom once again established on the earth, preparatory to the second coming of the Messiah.
be it known unto all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people unto whom this work shall come, that we, through the grace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, have seen the plates which contain the record, which are as a record of the people of Nephi, and also of the Lamanites, their brethren, and also of the people of Jared who came from the Tower of Babel. Came from the tower of which hath been spoken, and we also know that they have been translated by the gift and power of God, for his voice hath declared it unto us. Wherefore we know of a surety that the work is true, and we also testify that we have seen the engravings which are upon the plates, and have been shown unto us by the power of God, and not of man. And we declare with words of soberness that an angel of God came down from heaven, and he brought and laid before our eyes that we beheld and saw the plates and the engravings thereon, and we know that it is by the grace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ that we beheld and bear record that these things are true. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Nevertheless, the voice of the Lord commanded us that we should bear record of it. Wherefore, to be obedient unto the commandments of God, we bear testimony of these things. And we know that if we are faithful in Christ, we shall rid our garments of the blood of all men, and be found spotless before the judgment seat of Christ, and shall dwell with him eternally in the heavens, which is, and the honor be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, which is one God. Amen. Oliver mm -hmm. Cowdy, David Whitmer, and Martin Harris. Mm -hmm. That testimony of eight witnesses. Be it known unto all nations, kindred, tongues, and peoples, unto whom this work shall come, that Joseph Smith, Jr., the translator of this work, has shown unto us the plates which hath been spoken, which have the appearance of gold, and as many of the leaves as the said Smith has translated, we did handle with our hands. We also saw the engravings thereon, all of which has the appearance of ancient work, and of curious workmanship, and this we bear record with sober, words of soberness, that the said work said Joseph has shown unto us, for we have seen and hefted, and know of a surety that the said Smith has got the words, has got the plates of which he, we have spoken. And we give our names unto the world, to witness unto the world that we have, which we have seen, and we lie not, God bearing witness to it. Christian Whitmer, Jacob Whitmer, Peter Whitmer Jr., John Whitmer, Hiram Page, Joseph Smith Sr., Hiram Smith, and Samuel Smith. The Prophet Joseph Smith's own words about the coming forth of the Book of Mormon are, On the evening of the 21st of September, 1823, I betook myself to prayer and supplication to Almighty God. And while I was thus in the act of calling upon God, I discovered a light appearing in my room, which continued to increase until the room was lighter than the noonday, when immediately a personage appeared at my bedside, standing in the air, for his feet did not touch the floor. He had on a loose robe of most exquisite whiteness, it was a whiteness beyond anything earthly I had ever seen, nor do I believe that any earthly thing could be made to appear so exceedingly white and brilliant. His hands were naked, as, and his arms also, a little above the wrists, as so also were his feet naked, as were his legs a little above the ankle. His head and neck were bare also. I could discover that he had on no other clothing but this robe, as it was open, so that I could see his bosom, into his bosom. Not only was his robe exceedingly white, but his whole person was glorious beyond description, and his countenance truly like lightning. The room was exceedingly light, but not so very bright as immediately around his person. When I first looked upon him I was afraid, but the fear soon left me. He called me by name, and said unto me that he was a messenger sent from the presence of God to me, and that his name was Moroni that God had a work for me to do, and that my name should be had for good and evil among all nations, kindreds and tongues, or that it should be both good and evil spoken of among all nations people. He said there was a book deposited written upon gold plates giving an account of the former inhabitants of this continent, and the source from whence they sprang. He also said that the fullness of the everlasting gospel was contained in it, as he 
as delivered by the Savior to the ancient inhabitants. Also there were two stones in silver bows, and these stones fastened to a breastplate constituted what is called Urim and Thummim, deposited with the plates, and the possession and use of these stones were what constituted seers in ancient or former times, and the God had prepared them for the purpose of translating the book. things are falling apart. Mm. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Uh, sure, I can do it. Okay. I think. Well, you might burn yourself. Then, right? yeah, you, could, yeah, you might do Yeah. Do it. The smoke getting to me. <sighs> Not okay. It's ten o'clock. Nice fire, Willem.
Having a lot of money is very important to Tass. Very interesting she, how much she talks about it. Hmm. And wards are over Ben. Yeah. If you want the big bucks, you're going to have to blah, blah, blah. this less smoky for you? Uh, no idea. Uh, I mean, smoke is a natural type of product of fire, what can I say? Still quite frozen in, but it's in a perfect position. So you love me? Sorry? You still love me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I do love you also. Thank you. You love me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So when do we get set apart? Uh, well, that's a question we can ask him, I guess. Mm -hmm. And who's going to set us apart? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it'd probably be the second counselor or the, in the, in the, of the district. No, it is, yeah, the state presidency. Well, or maybe in the mission. They're all, they're all missionaries. I know, it doesn't mission. seem like it's a real mission. Yeah. Maybe maybe, I'm not for, maybe one of the mission presidents, maybe President Davis maybe or something. Would you like to put some glasses on? Uh, oh, here my, yeah, I'll see what They're not very clean, but you don't really care about that, do you? <laughs> okay, there's some spot here. Oh, this kind of oh don't. These are good glasses. I don't want to ruin them. Okay. There's, there's, there's one spot there. Mm -hmm. That kind of... Spot may be permanent. Oh, maybe I can drive over the car. Uh, I'm not sure. The, the, the smoke might be... It might be attaching itself to the glasses that way.
Well, that's about as good as I can do. Okay. Good morning, chickadee. Little scout. Amazing when you stand between the fire and me, it's all of a sudden getting colder. What? When you stand between the fire and me, all of a sudden I'm getting oh, colder. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. I'm going to go prod sticks again, I guess. This is the longer one over there. How's those glasses doing? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, uh, but it's right in the middle of my vision. Yeah, kind of, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of little, little. It, it probably got scraped. No, it's a lot of but it's or at least a lot of it is gone. Oh, okay. No, there's still some left there, I guess. No, I think there's something sticking to it. Oh. Maybe, maybe soap and water can get it off. Yeah, yeah. maybe so. It doesn't look like sharp scratches. It's a beautiful fire room. 